Recently, I joined the burger subreddit and was greeted with tons of images of delicious looking burgers on freshly baked pretzel buns. I knew I wouldn't be able to stop thinking about them until I tried one for myself. So today on Hungry For More, my instruction friendly partner, Michelle, is joining us to show us how to make the perfect pretzel bun at home. First thing you're gonna do is put all of your dry ingredients in a large bowl. So that's three and three quarter cups plus one tablespoon flour, one quarter ounce envelope of fast acting or instant yeast. It's very important that you use this kind of yeast because it can be mixed with dry ingredients without blooming in water first. Do not use active dry yeast. Add two teaspoons of salt and then give it a quick stir so everything is well combined. Then mix your wet ingredients, one and one quarter cups lukewarm water and three tablespoons of unsalted melted butter. I melted mine in the microwave at 15 second intervals. I also didn't have any unsalted butter and it turned out just fine with salted. After all, pretzels are supposed to be salty. Add the butter to the water and give it a little whisk whisk before adding to the dry ingredients. I mixed everything together using the dough hook attachments on my hand mixer. You can use a stand mixer or even a wooden spoon would probably work. We are just mixing it until it is combined enough to form a dough. Two minutes should do and the dough should not be sticky once mixed. Next, turn the dough onto a floured surface and knead it for a few minutes. Now I'm no expert baker and I don't really know how to knead, but I assume it looks something like what I'm doing here. My intent was to keep folding and stretching the dough to help the formation of gluten. Once it forms a nice smooth ball, place it back into the bowl, cover with a towel and prove for one hour. Proving is just a fancy word for letting the yeast do its job to make the dough rise. You can do this by using the proof setting on your oven, which is what I did here, or if you don't have this setting, then you can just leave the oven light on, stick your dough in, and close the door. After one hour, the dough should be double its size. Give it a quick little punch down because our dough is a bad little boy. Cody thought I was a little bit of a psycho here until I told him that I needed to do that. Ha, huh, get it? Need. Anyway, knead the dough for 30 seconds and then you're ready to portion and form your buns. Divide up your dough. I chose eight portions, but you can adjust accordingly depending on how large you want your buns, how many people you're serving, and so on. To form the buns, you're going to roll them into a little ball first, then do this circular motion with your hands while pushing the dough underneath itself. You kind of want to spin it clockwise and tuck your hands underneath so that way pieces of the dough go underneath it. This creates surface tension and it prevents the dough from falling as it bakes. Feel free to make any shapes you want. We also made some hot dog buns so that we can make a nice little kraut mustard dog on these buns. You can even stuff your buns with cheese or meat if you'd like to make something a little more poppable. The great thing about this recipe is that it's a super flexible base for any other tasty pretzel treats. Once formed, cover again and let prove for 20 minutes. While our dough is proving, we're going to preheat the oven to 425 degrees and get our water ready for the alkaline bath. This is really just boiling water and baking soda and dipping the pretzels in them, and it's what gives the pretzels their signature taste and brown color. So just bring four and a quarter cups water and three tablespoons baking soda to a boil. By the time it boils, your dough should be nice and puffy and ready for its bath. Dip the rolls in the boiling water for 30 seconds, flip them, then 30 more seconds. Repeat this for all rolls and then place them on a parchment lined baking sheet. Use a sharp knife to score any pattern you like. I tested out a few different kinds. I did an X, I did a couple slashes, whatever your little heart desires. If your dough has lost its shape, at this point, you can try to reform them by tucking the edges under, similar to what we did before. Top with coarse salt. I use flaky Malden salt for both looks and tastes, and then pop those bad boys in the oven for 16 minutes until they reach their signature golden brown color. Once done, you can top with melted butter using a brush if you want that nice shine on them and they're ready to enjoy. I ended up having to make another batch of these because I was crushing them just the way they were. They're super delicious with a ton of air in them and they have that buttery deliciousness of an Auntie Anne style pretzel. And because my girl has the best buns around, I had to step up my smash burger game. So I made a quick onion jam by food processing a medium onion, adding salt, pepper, and paprika, and browning it in butter and oil. Since we're under quarantine, we didn't want our place to reek like burgers, as often happens when you make them in the kitchen, so I made them outside. I did two simple flat top burgers, smash, flip, top with our onion jam, then some local Monterey Jack cheese, then I added a lid so it melted. I toasted those awesome pretzel buns, added some special sauce, a few pickles, and assembled this delicious treat. If you're looking for more instruction on how to make a smash burger, I'm going to link a more detailed video I made above. 
I love potato rolls and brioche buns, but something about these pretzel buns is just so gratifying, and it makes for such a sturdy handheld burger. Here's a video of my disgusting self giving this bad boy a hefty bite and then nodding my hands because that is what I do when I'm really enjoying something. Anyway, I hope you give these a try. Most of us have a lot more spare time than usual right now, and this recipe makes for a great way to spend some time in the kitchen with your loved one. I hope everyone is staying safe out there, being good to themselves, and living an awesome life. Take care and see you in the next video.